admin lines, and then we have 911s, whether it's a cell phone or a, oh. or a landline right there. Um, this will give us all of the information that we need right here. So, oh, um, oh, cell or landline. Okay. Uh-huh, yep, yeah. right here. Uh -huh. And then it will pull up a map up here. These are our 911s that come through. Let's see. So it'll pull up where it's at. <coughs> that just happens to be in Orem. Mm -hmm. So it'll help us locate them more. Um, this is our radio screen with all of the different radios that we can page on right here. All of the different channels, the law, the fire, Jueb County now. And then this is just the actual program that we use, this building. Wow. How long does it take you to keep all that straight? <laughs> These are all calls we have right now. You have right now? Yeah. Going on? Yeah. Here? Yes. Oh. These are all active calls right now. But what is everybody What's else the like? blue versus the yellow? What's that? So blue means that they're, or like the purple means that they are arrived. Okay. Uh, yellow means that they're on their way. Gray means it hasn't been assigned yet. Okay. Oh, so those are, okay. So those are all like responding to the call. Uh -huh. So I am on law one, so I am only Eagle Mountain County and Saratoga. You're over Eagle Mountain and Saratoga? Uh -huh. Right now. So I just pull up just their calls right uh -huh. now. Just so these are the ones that I'm in charge of right now. So you've got four of them that are going on right now? Exactly. And then we have one on the way. Do you, do you know what's going on in other dispatcher like Provo or We other? can. Um, but it's not, it's not up all the time then? No, but okay. we can pull up all, so this is all Utah County right now. Okay. So we can pull up and see what's going on. Apparently there's a threat up in Heber. A threat up in Heber? Yeah, a bomb threat up in Heber. Oh. That's kind of a random Yeah. Heber, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't see that very often. But yeah. Set it off, I guess. So we have it all separated so it'll let us know like which county it's in or which city it's in, which zone, who's covering it basically, KD or FD. Uh -huh. so, these are our radios. We have wireless headsets that I love, <laughs> um, but we can still talk to here if we want to. Okay, for Push and then that. we have our foot pedal as well. Okay. That we use. Wow. So, how do you page? What's when a call comes in? How do you page? When a call comes in and we page, we just hit this tile and it sets off the tones. Stand by. Oh, I gotta interrupt. Which time? Oh. Do you have a female deputy tonight, or a female that could come to Provo? Is there a female officer that is on that can assist Provo? Well, it's actually one day there in Provo, sir. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna take the quiet. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so when it comes on, let's see. Do you want me to call 746? I will. Just page your test really quickly. So for Woodland Hills. Yeah, so I can do pager tests for you guys right now. So you just hit that and then hold the pedal down and it'll set off your tones. Okay. And then Station 191 pager test, pager test only. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> Freak everybody out. So, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Not a big okay. deal. Okay, so, so you just choose from yeah. the right one from yep, there. We just choose the right one and go through and and it sets off tones and everything. So when you page Woodland Hills, you also, at least for, well, yeah, for medical and so forth, you also page Salem because they, mm -hmm. yep. yeah, they back us up. So, so how do you can, know to do that in the first place? When a call comes in that's um, a medical, uh -huh. we have response plans that are just, sorry, copy 206841. Um, so it's a response plan, and okay. so it automatically is set up to pull exactly who needs to go for that call. Okay. And so just whoever pulls up, that's who we page. Wow. And then if we need more people, then we just basically do the response plan a second time. Yeah. And it'll pull more apparatuses. So cool. if you, if, if nobody has an emergency going on and a call comes in, who does it go to first? Everyone. 
Oh, every, it goes to everyone. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so it just rings. Um, we have a priority answer thing, so um, if like a regular line is ringing and 911 comes in, the 911 will be answered first. Okay, yeah. So it's priority. Okay. But on our call screen, yeah, it will show us where it's coming yeah. from. So right now we have a 911 going on, um, and then we just have two admin lines that are on. Mm. So when we call in to get um, the stats for our last call that we were on, uh -huh. Is that an admin line then? Is that what yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep, it comes through as an admin line and then we just look up your radio log. Okay. So. Sorry, you are yeah. Is there an AJ officer waiting for Ben? That um, can you, like, if I'm, like, somewhere I don't know the address, can I get you, like, a GPS coordinates? Like, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So we have, we can search by GPS coordinates on our map here. Oh. So most of our police apparatuses have a tracking system in them, so I can show you where my guys are right now. Um, so like 166 is just hanging out out here. But most fires don't, but we can search, like if you have GPS, we can just plug it in and then get your directions from there. So those are, your, those are the cops or sheriff right there? Mm -hmm. Yep. So if we call in on your admin line, you can tell us where the sheriff's sitting? Happy so we know they're sitting down. So the <laughs> GPS on your smartphone <laughs> should you you can, right? that? tune into that. Oh, yeah, no. so oh, okay. um, the GPS on that actually comes through up in here. So when you call 911, it will pull up. So this call came in at this location within 20 meters. Oh, wow. So it like narrowed down to where it was. So if people wow. don't know their addresses, we can still get pretty close. Uh -huh. And then go from there if we need to. Now you have the avail they have the availability now to text 911, right? Uh -huh. Yep. So our text to 911 is just this little guy right down here. Um, it just pops up in here. Look at what's going on. So you guys should tell your kids that. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't yeah. know. It. No, well, there's a lot of people that don't know. Mm -hmm. I've heard about it, but like, oh no, that's like a rumor or something. No, you, you can text it now and communicate with them. Yeah. And we can text right back through here. Um, we don't get a lot because, like you said, not a lot of people yeah. know about them. But we do get them. You just text 911. Mm -hmm. And you said you're yeah. It's just smart because if you're like having to hide out, yeah. if somebody if you get a kid in the closet, in the closet mm -hmm. and text them, it's yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it just comes through, and then we can type back. We have regular response, like just automatic responses, or we can just type in what we need to know. So, yeah. so can you like track a, like a uh, phone number? Like, oh, if someone's down, I know that phone number. Can you track them? Like, so like everywhere that I've seen, though, like it seems like super complicated. Like, oh, it's gonna take 24 hours to track or to ping them. You know, like. No, as soon as the officer tells us to do it, so that's the thing is the officer has to say it. But once they tell us to, we contact whatever provider they are with, and we usually get a response within five to ten minutes. Oh wow. Yeah. So we do that for a lot of threatened suicides and a lot of missing people and things like that. Check their phones to see their last area that they were at. Cool. And how like how soon is it like that updated? You know, um, like depends. There are times that it's real time, and so it's where it's at right now. The phone's been shut off, and it's just the last time that it went through. Okay. So there are times that it only tells us what tower it went off of, and then there are times that it's able to triangulate where it's actually at. Oh, cool. Oh. Real cool. So is this 